In this repair video, we're going to be working on an iPad 12.9 that came in for new power. We already disassembled the screen and we plugged the charging cable. The tablet is drawing 0.6 amps. Anytime we see a draw between 0.4 to 0.8, I know it's a short circuit on the board. And how do I know that? I know that from experience because I work on those tablets every day and I develop the pattern. Anytime I see anything between 0.4 to 0.8, I know it's a short circuit on the board. So how do we figure out which component or what's the problem with the board? We remove the plate to expose the board and we have a lot of components here. We have a lot of microscopic components. Which component is causing the problem? What we're going to do is inspect the board under a thermal cam. Today we're going to be using the Uni-T 260B thermal camera along with the macro lens to troubleshoot what the problem is with the board. I went over this camera in the previous video and I mentioned how amazing this camera is and I also did a special video on the macro lens to explain what the macro lens is, what it does, and how amazing the macro lens is as well. So let's use the camera to see if we can figure out what the problem is with the tablet. Now if you look here, the way I attach the macro lens is via scotch tape. I put a piece of tape here and a piece of tape here. Or if you want, if you do not want to put tape, you can just hold the lens with your hand, with your finger, and go over the board. The charging cable is plugged in, and we're going to see what is getting hot on the board. Look at the details. I can see every individual component and those are microscopic components. I cannot see this level of details with my Fleur E60 thermal camera, the $6,000 thermal cam. I mean, I can pinpoint where every component is. Look at this. And it's very apparent where the short is coming from. See the heat spot? That specific component, that's where the heat is coming from. And that's most likely where the short is coming from. Wow, I'm absolutely stunned with the details on this camera and macro lens. Let's switch palettes. I want to see how the short looks like under different palettes. And if we go to palette number two, it's very apparent where the short is coming from. You see it? If we go to black and white, white is where the short is coming from. Or the heat spot, the hottest spot on the board. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at this. Black and white image, but the hottest area on the board is shown in red and semi-hot is shown from dark yellow to light yellow. That's an amazing palette. It's very visible where the short is coming from. Look at that red spot on the left. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. With this palette, black is hot. I'm not too interested in the black hot palette. Maybe it has its special uses, but not here. And if we go to this palette, Oh, this palette is nice. Lava. Look at lava. <laughs> Look at lava. And that's our shorted component right here. And finally, if we go to the last palette, and that last palette makes me feel like I'm watching the weather channel. And look at the shorted component. It's very obvious. I was able to pinpoint where the short is coming from. And the shorted component is right over here, as we saw under the thermal cam, this one here. Let's remove it and see if that will fix our problem. The thermal camera was very precise on which component was getting hot. All right, the component is out. Let's leave it here. Plug the charging cable. <laughs> it's no longer showing 0 0.6. It's currently being charged at 1 amp. Perfect. Tablet is fixed. Wow. And look at this. It just went up to 1.9 amps. Amazing. Tablet is fixed. I'm going to give it to Big Bus to reassemble and test, and I'll be back. We reassembled the tablet and we put the clamps because tablet is working. We're going to invoice and mail this back to the customer. We're going to end the video right here. If you have not already purchased a thermal camera with the macro lens, you can log in to northridgefix.com and you can buy it from there. We have about 26 in stock right now. I told you in the last video that we have 200 pieces coming in. We fulfilled all back orders. We emailed customers waiting for the camera to come in. And right now we have 26 cameras in stock. We're going to have more 
coming in uh, probably two to three weeks. But if you need one now, you can log in and purchase the camera off our site. We're going to end the video right here. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And we'll do something else in the next video.